Good morning. Kirsten here. Um, first of all, apologies for my lovely morning look. Um, of course, my morning look probably looks a lot like every other part of the day look. Anyway, a um, couple different things. First of all, an apology. Two apologies to you. Um, I got to tell you, this this March, I, I truly meant that I was going to uh, go out and we were going to have fun. And I, I won't show you my calendar, but I have a whole list running along the side of the month of March. You know, my calendar has like the full month and then it opens up and there's like six columns to fish, fit seven days in and the times, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> on the side column, you know, under notes of the month of March, it's labeled have fun, <laughs> an odd concept, um, <clears throat> and a bunch of places around Quartzsite that I wanted to go to. I mean, if you saw the video of my really fast Quartzsite tour, <laughs> mainly because I don't want to get out and walk around and go shopping, but you know, that's just not me. Um, and, uh, God, what else did I do in Quartzsite? Oh, we went to the High Jolly Cemetery, which was all about, what, two and a half minutes of that video, and then I spent two and a half hours at Beer Bellies. Okay, so clearly we know <clears throat> where my priorities lay. Aside from that, um, I haven't been able to do anything on the list of um, my March <laughs> thing of have fun. Uh, for a couple of reasons. Well, one, um, okay, so I, I try to work and get a lot of stuff done Monday through Friday. And normally if I were at home, I would also be, um, working on the weekends because it snows and it's cold and it's icky up there. And so I hibernate and then I don't go out and then I just work. But I am not in that. I am in like 70s and 80 degrees and it's beautiful and it's sunny and the birds are chirping and it's a wonderful thing until the weekend rolls around, actually until about Thursday night, Friday morning. And then there's another atmospheric river coming through or there's a really big blizzard to the north of us, which means the wind really picks up down here. And I'm not talking, you know, 20 miles an hour, 20. If there were snow down here in the desert, we would be having one butt kicking blizzard um, with the way the wind whips around down here. And it just seems like every weekend in my memory, at least for well, March and February for that matter, wind gusts of, you know, sustained wind gusts of 45, 50, 60 miles an hour. I, you know, and, <laughs> you know, I had no problem and I still don't for the most part, but it's really obvious. I don't have stabilizing jacks on this rig. And so when those winds pick up, they come right under my rig and I am all over the place. Now, um, I try to take a positive look on this and pretend it's an amusement park ride that I didn't have to pay $300 for a front gate ticket to go into. Hmm. And, um, I can just bump around in here and it'll be great fun. Um, I don't mind it when I'm sitting or I'm laying in bed, but walking is interesting when you're getting jostled around. But okay, so that's been, that's one of my reasons why I haven't done anything is because when I have the allocated time and, and the business week is over, um, it's, the weather's awful, or it's cold, really cold, or it's raining, torrential rain. As a matter of fact, we've got more rain coming in this weekend, and um, this weekend, if all goes according to plan, I, I'm not going to kill anyone. Okay, that's a whole nother story I'll tell you about. Um, this weekend is my first official drive out of Quartzsite in this RV, and I apologize for the way it looks. Last night, I haphazardly put that um, sun visor screen up, and um, and I will I'll tell you more about that whole adventure. But anyway, um, 
I am supposed to leave here on Sunday to go down to Yuma. First time driving this further than between La Posa South, Tyson Wash Drive, Drives area, to Quartzsite, which is all about three or four miles, maybe five. Um, okay, so yeah, um, I haven't been able to do anything fun outside. And then, like I said, I was watching the weather and the, the wind because this, I'm supposed to go on a road trip this the Sunday through next Wednesday. And I come back to Quartzsite for a couple days, get my affairs in order, and then the real road trip starts. <laughs> That's a whole other story. Anyway, um, so yeah, the weather's been, well, crappy. So I haven't been able to get out there. I really don't want to be out there when the wind is whipping sand around at, you know, 35 to 60 miles an hour. And it's cold and it's rainy. And we're not doing anything out there. All right, so I apologize for not having fun on my Weird and Wild channel. Trust me, I have a list. I have websites. I have, I have a whole agenda of all the different places I want to go. But I don't want to leave my RV when it's 60 mile per hour winds, as you can well imagine, and raining and cold. Okay, so there's that one apology. I'm, a, I'm apologizing that this hasn't been more fun. Secondly, I watch I I watch a ton of YouTube videos. I'm subscribed, oh my god, probably to five hundred different channels. It's it's insanity. You know, you just get on the the happy train of, you know, smashing all those subscribe buttons and you know, I just I get carried away. Anyway, um no, I I appreciate the content that I watch and the people that present it. And I mean, I've I'm a lot of these channels I've been following for years when I was doing my research for getting on the road full time and blah blah blah. But I watch just know well as you can clearly tell, I'm never gonna play dress up to be on camera. I am not a 20 something year old YouTuber, influencer. <laughs> no. Um, you know, if I happen to have makeup on and my hair done, yay! Woohoo! Probably is not going to happen though. And um, the videos, the editing on the videos, um, I know the program that I work with probably has the capability of having just kick butt videos. But do I have the time? No. And and I don't even know if I have right now at least the mental bandwidth to learn a whole new put it this way, I've been with Squarespace for a long time, probably fifteen years. But I remember when I first started that that web design program. Hmm. I hated it. Oh my gosh. I hated it. And I thought, why in the world am I paying money for this subscription when I hate this thing? But, um, well with Squarespace, I, I deemed it in my mind after using various other service providers and such for, um, websites, um, as the best. And, um, I'm getting off on a tangent, but yes, I use Squarespace. I finally figured it out. And although my one website is a little more basic than the other, I still, I'm sure I'm not utilizing it to full potential. And so the same with this, I, you know, there is only so much one can shove into one's head. <laughs> I'm afraid I've maxed it out up there. <laughs> anyway, so. Apologies for the, I guess, the homemade looking videos. You know, I highly doubt I'm ever going to stick my camera on the road and then drive away from it for that point of view, only to have to turn around, come back and get my camera and hope that in between driving away and coming back from it, it isn't blown over by, you know, the wind or 
someone runs it over, or an animal comes running out of the wood and woods and steals it, or knocks it over. I mean, you know, I just, I'm, I started this video to document my travels for two parties mainly. Myself, because I know I'm gonna, <laughs> my mind is already going. So, you know, it'd be kind of fun to document this so I can kind of sort of remember it. Or if I don't remember it at all, when I'm older, I can watch this these videos and go, she looks like a really nice person and she must be having fun. I wonder who she is. <laughs> Anywho. Um, and then also for my kids, um, I have four beautiful, wonderful, fabulous, yes, I'm biased, but I mean, come on, it's the truth, children. And um, I wanted to give them the opportunity of, you know, vicariously going on my trips with me and, um, you know, hey, maybe one of these days I'll have grandkids. I'm not giving them grief though, mind you. Um, they're still young enough that they're good. I am a, I do have a grand puppy and I have eight unhatched grand snakes. And apparently there's another clutch of eggs coming. I have a son who does exotic snake breeding. Anyway, so that's okay. So my apologies. My videos are never going to look production beautiful. Not going to happen. Including what I look like on them. And two, um, oh, <laughs> I haven't done anything fun yet. Um, yeah. So there you go. Okay. Those are my two apologies. Uh, let's see. Other things. Um, I have an adventure coming up though. We are going to spend the summer in Wyoming. I love Wyoming. It's very pretty out there. I'm looking forward to doing all sorts of things. I've got my maps. As you know, if you saw my map video that I'm uberly excited and oh hey by the way I'll show you to keep my maps in beautiful pristine order and condition I put them in a plastic tote yeah so they're not going to get um you know banged up edges and actually <laughs> so yeah I got the maps in here yay and they look very nice as a matter of fact somewhere and they're already gone anyway i bought highlighters for the map so i can highlight you know rv friendly and free and you know or must have a high you know high road clearance vehicle or whatever so so i can just open it up and quickly see things rather than having to read four thousand words to find one spot um <clears throat> and then it took me this is a calendar, obviously, for 2024. It took me, oh my gosh, the better part of an hour finding a fun map, a map, calendar, um, because, you know, you want to have something that you want to look at for a year because, oh yeah, you're going to be using it for a year. Anyway, so it took a better part of an hour to find this, and then in my move between Minnesota down to Denver... I think I may have even knew where it was in Denver, but then Denver to Arizona. Um, no, no, no. It was Minnesota, Denver. I put this in a safe place and then I couldn't find it to the point where, oh my gosh, did I leave my new 2024 calendar in Minnesota? Mm. So then I went out and bought this calendar, which I have been using ad nauseum now for three months so far. Not really fond about the thing, but you know, you can't miss it. Anyway, um, so then, you know, you have to wait either six or seven years to be able to reuse a calendar. Um, this tells you how much time or you know, I have on my hands in the middle of the night when my brain doesn't sleep. But anyway, um, so from like 2024, and I don't know if it's on the six or seven right now, but 2024, say in six, 
2030 is going to mimic 2024, but then 2037 is going to mimic 230, 2030, and 2024. So it goes on a six and seven year cycle. Not that you need to know any of this and not that I was ever intending to tell you this. But anyway, when I found this, I'm like, oh man, now, you know, if I lost it over the course of, you know, a week driving to Colorado, am I actually going to keep this around till, you know, 2030 or 31, depending on what cycle it's on? Probably. I keep everything else, but, um, it's not a hoarding issue. It's uh, keeping receipts for the seven years that are required by the IRS and blah, blah, blah. And I keep all my calendars. Um, I'm, I'm good at keeping paper trails. Anyway, um, so then I figured, okay, well, that'll be my 2024 adventure calendar. And then I can also always look back and go, oh, I was here and I was there. The only problem is if you look at it, and since I've had no adventures, it's a damn snowstorm in my adventure calendar. Anywho. Yeah. Okay. A to-do list. Anyway. Um, okay. So there's that. I'll probably never have kick butt production quality style videos. I highly doubt I'm ever going to get dressed up unless, you know, I happen to already be dressed up and gussied up. And um, and I apologize that I haven't done anything fun. Trust me, it, it bothers the snot out of me. 